Hi, we're back again, and I'm Speed Chuck playing Rec Neps, uh, Find Japan. That's the game after the word of the creator. That's, uh, yes. Okay. You can see it on the screen in front of you. It's a game. It's for the GMC Jam. It's a review. Raw review, which means I'm just gonna start right into playing this thing by pressing space right now. Okay. Ah! That was loud. If you heard any recording noises or any windows noises, it's because I was turning down the volume. And I'm still going to do that a little bit because I can't hear myself talk. I switched to some headphones for better audio quality, so yeah. Alright, looks like Japan blew up and I have to go out and find it? Is that it? How do I jump? Alright. Once I figure out how to jump, we will be on our way. Can I jump off the edge here? Oh! Honshu! The largest island in Japan and home of its biggest cities. Haha, <laughs> educational! Yes! You can now jump by pressing up. Press space to continue. Yay! What is this? Tokyo! Most famous of the cities in Japan, the metropolitan population in this city is the largest in the world. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. I like this now. It's an explor explorative platformer. Um. Graphics very, very simple, not bad, but uh, obviously not like, great, but they're not bad. They're not bad. Uh, going around collecting little pieces of Japan. That's <laughs> confusing. It's one way to do the theme. The way that this level is structured and how I just fell into like this red place kind of reminds me of a game called Cat Planet. Cat Planet. Do not get me started on Cat Planet. Okay. So... Can now press down to go through platforms. Yes! Like that. Okay. So I could go down to this platform, but I feel like... It, well, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So... Okay, this is neat. Okay, I like the game so far. It's a very it's a little explorative platformer, and that's cool. Um, I don't know where the music came from, but it's pretty great. Osaka! Largest city outside of the Premier Tokyo area. It's got a counter up there for land and for cities, I guess. Okay, I can't go that way. Is there anywhere else I can go in here? Alright. This little area is really neat. I like this. But now I am completely lost! Oh, hey. Oh, well that works. But I don't want to go there yet. I want to go this way. Yeah. Going this way. There's not really too much to say about this game, really. Um, other than that, it's fairly entertaining. I can now jump higher. The northernmost island of Japan is best known for its picturesque mountains and hot springs. See, games like this have to have a certain amount of charm to come off as good games because there isn't a huge amount of gameplay to them. It's mostly just explore, jump, go one way, go another. Uh, it's amusing that I'm finding Japan and the music is good, so I guess that's maybe enough charm? It's hard to say. It's definitely not one of my top games in the jam so far, but I am enjoying it and that's, that's what's important. Um, even though I can't remember which way I've been and which way I haven't been. I'm kind of confused as to what type of little creature I am. I'm still going to need to jump higher to get that. I'm kind of confused as to what kind of type of little creature I am, because... Man, I'd have to be a monstrously sized creature in order to go and find Japan. I mean, that's, that's pretty big right there. As of right now, though, I am still enjoying the game. Do, 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 do. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but it's okay because... Oh, no, it's not okay. I can't jump up there. Ah. Okay, so... One thing I usually like in platforming... There are two things I like in platforming a lot. One is variable jumping. This game has that. I appreciate that. One of them is also variable movement, even just by a little bit, to where it's a little smoother turning around. That actually depends on the game. Some games I don't like that as much in. It kind of depends on how precise the platforming is and what the game's built around, but in general it's pretty cool. 
Yokohama. Just south of Tokyo, Yokohama is one of the second largest is the second largest city in Japan and one of the nation nation's largest ports. It's a port city. Like Atlanta. Except that Atlanta is an airport city. Alright, is there anything out here that I miss now that I am the super jumper? Woo! I didn't mean to do that, but okay. A major port of northern Honshu. Sendai was hit very hard by the to Tohoku Tsunami and Earthquake in 2011. I recall that. It's all over the news. Alright. Oh, this map, this map is probably showing the cities that I've gotten back. I feel like I'm probably about halfway done with the game, so this is probably going to be longer than the other videos because I do want to play through the entire game. I shall attempt to continue talking through the whole thing in order not to bore all of you guys. Or maybe to bore all of you guys. Perhaps that's my secret plan. Boom! Nagoya! His Historically a center of industry, this city is the nation's fourth largest and plays an important role in World War II. Yeah. Okay. I need an upgrade that allows me to jump even higher, because who doesn't want to be overpowered like that? <gasps> I can now fly by pressing up and down. Smallest island in Japan. Yeah. Oh, this just changed the controls completely. <laughs> there is no similarity to what the game was before. I am in space now. Kyoto, also known as Miyako. Kyo Miyoso, Miyoko? Yeah. Kyoto was the nation's capital for over 1,000 years until it was moved to Tokyo. What a shame, Kyoto. You got usurped by somebody with the exact same name. A little bit of identity theft there. Flying just kind of makes the game really cheap. But then again, it's not like the platforming was incredibly challenging to begin with, aside from that one jump back then. Sapporo, the largest city on the island of Hokkaido. The city is home to the annual Sapporo Snow Festival. I'm not really remembering much of this stuff, but it's nice that the effort's been put in to try to teach me stuff about Japan. I really do appreciate the effort, even though it is wasted on a simple-minded sap such as I. I do like the way the music actually fits the areas, even though all that changes is the color. Uh, the music still fits. Oh, I can still move and jump, that's great. I just had to press up or down again to fly. That's how that works. Yes! Hiroshima! Located in far west Honshu, Hiroshima is best known as the first city to be attacked with a nuclear weapon. Isn't that a legacy you'd hate to have? Like, that's just, that's just kind of sad, honestly. I don't mean that in a, like, heh, look at us, we nuked Japan kind of way, because that would be kind of horrible. Where am I going with this? I feel bad. Matsuyama! The largest city in Shikoku is home to Dogo Onsen, an old bathhouse that was an inspiration for the one in Spirited Away. That is a good movie! And I didn't know that uh, it was inspired... Like, yeah, I didn't know that that's where it came from. So, thanks for that, I guess. Uh, okay, I'm almost done. I feel like there's going to be a hundred of the little specs. And then... Maybe more than a hundred of the... No. <laughs> Maybe ten cities? That sounds about right. Although I could be wrong and I could just be done already. There could only be ten cities. Although I find it funny that the cities are labeled up on the screen like that because not all of the cities are shaped like that. They're all shaped actually quite different. And I mean in this game. I'm not knowledgeable enough to actually know if they're shaped differently in real life. Um... I don't know much about Japan, honestly. You'd have to go to my fellow guru, maker of the game, San, about that. He's been learning Japanese and watching a whole bunch of anime, and so now he figures he knows a whole bunch about the culture. And I guess since he's been taking the Japanese language for, I think, two years now, he might might actually be correct about that. I think I'm actually done. Uh, so this video is still under ten minutes. That's not bad at all. I think I found everything. Is... Is this... Oh, hey, there's that. I might be missing some things that are under... The... This thing. So, I'm gonna go back and check real quick. Whoa! I can fly... Really fast. 
99 and 9. I guess that's a good place to end. I feel like there really are more of those things to deal with, but I don't know where they would be is the problem, because I feel like I've searched through everything. Um, like, could there be any up in this corner here? No, there aren't. So, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to end it right there. Uh, this has been a pretty interesting game. I actually kind of liked it, but... Uh, I wish I had a more well-defined ending, because I don't know where I stand here. I don't know what's going on. And... Uh, yeah, but I think I got everything. And I learned a little bit about Japan in the progress, in the process. I learned where Spirited Away and Atom Bombs. And, well, okay, I'm going to stop recording now.